All right, Terrifics, we're here at CES Asia 2016 in Shanghai, China, and we found what could be the coolest and best and most innovative product of CES Asia 2016. It's certainly getting a lot of attention and buzz, and it's pretty amazing. It's from Kawa, it's called the Kawa Robot, and I'm here with Lucas, and Lucas, yeah. we've got people walking up, they want to steal it, that's how yeah. popular it is. <laughs> yeah. This is a suitcase. Yeah that does a lot more than your average suitcase. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That one would be uh, the first one robotic suitcase in the world. Yeah. So the first thing is it's a suitcase. It has a lock on it. When you get close to it with the uh, dongle, so to speak, it unlocks, yeah. number one. Number two, it's got a TSA lock built in so the TSA can get in. Yeah. Number two, uh, three, w when you open it, you also have a spot for a battery pack and that yeah. battery pack can be used to charge your cell phone, your laptop, whatever you want uh, when you leave this at the hotel. But that battery also powers the suitcase for up to one week of travel. Yes. And what happens is you don't have to actually carry this through the airport, it does all the work for you. Yes, and um, actually this one would be an innovative technology we put it in the suitcase. Um, just like what we walk here. So when, you, when we walk, it moves. And there you go, you can see that as he walks, it moves on its own. I have a million questions about this. I probably only have time to ask him three, but that is pretty amazing. And you can see this is a very bumpy carpet. It's getting over the bumps, no problem. Can I try that? Yeah, sure. So, yeah, Lucas, just, just face it this way. Oh, it's speeding now. How do I get it to slow down? Or if I just stop, it'll stop. Wow, it's like a dog. Can you come over here now? Wow. It's it's got a mind of its own a little bit. I think I think it's it's running away. It's like a dog. It really is like a dog. It's pretty cool. It's like the electronic leash. So uh, how do we uh, make this work? And we have a built-in sensor that we, uh, two systems that we built. One is called Co Eye and Co Move. That's the technology part of the, this suitcase. And how do you guys think of this product? We think it's really cool because the first time that we're combining the technology, the robot technology with the consumer products, and that's what we need in, in, in our life. And kind of a practical product. I mean, this has so many uses. It's good for a lot of people, yeah. but it's really good for people who are disabled or uh, have trouble getting through the airport, elderly people. Yeah. It, it's also good for people who travel with a lot of stuff or travel with small kids. And honestly, it's convenient. It's nice. Uh, but what about when we have 20, or 30 or 50 or 100 or 1,000 people walking through an airport with these at one time? Um, actually, we have a unique tracker for each one, so you don't have to worry about that mix it up. Are the bags going to crash into each other, though? No, uh, because we have ultrasonic obstacle avoidance feature here, so you can sense if there's an obstacle. What if it's a really crowded place? Uh, that will be no problem. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It and it won't crash. rotate it, its path and just get around the obstacles. And it won't crash into me? Um, sorry? It won't crash into people either. It won't crash into me? No, no. Wow. Yeah. Can we try? <laughs> yeah, sure. All right. Oh, now. Uh, because now we haven't added... Uh, oh, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not finished yes. yet. Yeah, it's not a, finished. a little bit of a proof of concept. Yes, yes. So you're doing an a Indiegogo for this? Yeah, Indiegogo and Kickstarter. Yeah. Yes. yes. And when will that be up? Um, in middle of July. Okay, and people can go and they can pre-order this. And then how long do you think it'll be before they can actually receive it? Um, we... Uh, we plan to deliver this product in September. Very good. And Cow has been around for a while, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. You guys make suitcases for a long time? Um, no, uh, we make robots. Uh, oh, robots. Yeah. Is that where I know you from? I don't know. Yeah. I'm losing my mind. So you came up with the suitcase robot idea. I know I know the brand for a long time, so yeah. I'm surprised that I thought you were suitcases and you're robots. Yeah. But you've made the robot suitcase. Again, it's very practical, but I'm not sure how you said, let's make a suitcase robot. Yeah. Uh, because we are a robot company uh, in, in the first place, and then we want to apply the navigation system and obstacle avoidance technology into a practical product, and then we come up with a suitcase. And that would be a, a, the best application of our technology, we think. Well, you've done a good job. <laughs> you've done a good job. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, and, and you guys have gotten a lot of attention, and you did a great job displaying it in the booth. Yeah. And by the way, if it, if it ran out of batteries or something, I could just roll it. Is that correct? Uh, yes, yes, ex exactly. Uh, once we have the fully developed product, actually, pull the handle and you put your hands on the handle, it will just stop and the active wheel will pull up. 
Yeah. Got it. Yeah. And then you roll it. Right. Very cool. The Kawa robot. Uh, check out for it on Kickstarter Indiegogo in July, and hopefully it can be yours very soon. And it's a very cool product. It's definitely one of the most innovative here at CES Asia 2016. I can say that without a doubt, and you're getting a lot of attention. Very, very cool. You are the Terrifics. That's Lucas. I'm Michael. You make me terrific special. Thanks so much for watching. Check out more of our continuing coverage of CES Asia. And we'll be back right after this at Be Terrific TV on all social media. Stay with us. Thank <laughs> you.